Well, I've got a stack of books next to my face, so it must be time for another mail call. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Now on this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, haul videos, and everything in between. So if you're new here and you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I get new videos uploaded to the channel, you know, all the youtube -y stuff. Now that that's out of the way, um, last week, was it last week? We did a mail call. I opened up like seven packages because for whatever reason, I just have an endless stack of things that I just forgot to open over the course of several months. And sometimes, like in today's video, those things neatly fit into a category so I can do a video with a theme. And uh, today's theme is books I bought on Facebook. Uh, so between Facebook Marketplace and then Facebook groups that I'm in, every single package you see beside me came from someone on Facebook. So I did a countdown a while back of the best places to buy comic books. It's actually one of the more popular videos on the channel. And Facebook groups was one of the ways and I did give a caveat like, hey, if you're buying on Facebook, you got to kind of, you know, buy or beware. You got to do some research, some due diligence. Um, and hopefully, you know, you don't get scammed or end up with books that are damaged since this is all secondhand property, right? Well, time to put my money where my mouth is and let's see how we did. Now, First up is a book that was kind of a box that's kind of heavy and it wouldn't fit on the uh, tower. So this box, <laughs> this is this is crazy. This box is postmarked March fifth of twenty twenty one. I've been sitting on this box for four months. Now, granted, my daughter was born um, in late March and she was born prematurely, and but whatever. I know exactly what's in here and. Let's just open it. We don't have time for all these particulars. By the way, while I'm sitting here, you know, opening boxes, I want you guys to be thinking about, like, what's the best package you've ever received? It doesn't have to be comics related necessarily. I just want to know what it was. Like, what was that thing that had you waiting next to the mailbox? Let me know in the comments below. I just think that'd be a fun discussion to have, so... Also, let's like never do what I just did, cutting <laughs> with the knife towards you. All right, next box. You'd think I'd choose, uh, you know, quieter shipping methods from opening a box with my daughter in the room with me. But anyway, nice little comic book sandwich. So this one's packed well. This one came from the homie Kevin, who is in a Facebook group I'm in. Honestly, it's been four months since I bought this, so I can't tell you which group it was. But I'll leave links to all the Facebook groups that I typically buy things in. Um, luckily, they're great members of the comics community. I haven't been scammed yet, and the one time I had like a faulty order, the seller made it right, so I can't be mad at that. Um, but this is... Wow, this is in great condition. This is the Super Sons Omnibus. This is the original edition, Super Sons by Peter J. Tomasi, Jorge Jimenez, and Patrick Gleason. Um, it's a great book. So, I mean, I, I, I can't say enough good things about Super Sons. Super Sons is the book that I read when I'm like sick of like continuity heavy stories or like dark stories, which you get a lot of if you read a lot of Batman. This is just a fun book. I literally read it one issue at a time because I never want it to end. Now I have the expanded edition of this omnibus. So this one collects Super Sons 1 through 16, the annual number one, Super Sons and Dino Mutt, plus Superman issues 10 and 11 and 37 and 38. Teen Titans 15 and a short story from the DC Rebirth Holiday Special number one. Um, so if I own the expanded edition, which includes all of that, plus the adventures of the Super Sun miniseries, why did I buy this? Well, um, stay tuned. It's most likely a giveaway prize. I bought it because I saw it at a price that I couldn't refuse. I think this was like 30 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? I've got young readers in my audience, and I think one of them would really appreciate this. So. Gotta figure out how to 
ensure this goes to a child. But anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get to the stack now that we got the oldest book out of the way. So like I said, every book on in this pile came from a Facebook group. This one came from the Ken Lashley Facebook group, um, the group for the lead killer and his fans. Ken Lashley very often will do these sales where you have to claim specific items um, by being really fast on the finger, kind of like um, who wants to be a millionaire, I guess. Um, but yeah, so if you happen to be the one that says me first, it's a great day for you. Um, and I've been first on the me quite a few times, and that's really exciting. It doesn't ever get less exciting. Let's put this down before I try to like rip into this. There we go. Another comic book sandwich. Let's unwrap this. Um, by the way, this package was postmarked May 15th of 2021. As I filmed this, today's July 28th. But that's what happens when you're moving, right? You're moving, you're packing things up, and it's like, you know what? Everything else is already in a box, and I gotta move it. Why would I take this out of the box to move it? Anyway. This is great. This is dope. So this is Nonstop Spider-Man issue number one. It is signed and remarked by the one and only Ken Lashley. This is the first time I've ever had a book remarked. Um, and I'm really excited about that. This is something that like deserves to be framed. If you guys know me, you know I'm a big Ken Lashley fan. Literally all three of those frames that you can't see the full artwork of, um, they're all Ken Lashley prints that I also bought in his Facebook group. So. Second package down, five more to go. This next one, ah, this break, this kind of breaks the uh, breaks the theme here. This came from things from another world. I didn't realize it was in the stack, but we might as well open it, right? So let's see what we got. If you're not familiar, things from another world is just another one of those huge online comics retailers there's a lot of them these days the biggest ones you probably know of are dcbs or the discount comic book service and midtown comics but things from another world they're kind of cut from the same cloth uh, but anyway this this is something that i ordered like literally to save on shipping and it backfired so i tried to order a copy of white number one um, last minute from things from another world. Turns out the pre-order ended up getting canceled, but in order to like kind of maximize on the shipping costs, I ordered this variant that was supposed to go along with it. This is X-Men number one. This is the nineties variant by, I believe Greg Houston is his name. Um, nothing against this cover. I love this cover. I mean, I ordered it cause I liked it, but I already have one that I bought for my LCS and I just forgot that I even added this to the cart. So a dumb buy because white number one got allocated and I didn't get to read it anyway. All right, next up, what's this? Ooh, this is from Jelliot. So Jelliot is a member of the K-Squad. The K-Squad is my Facebook group that I started. Um, the K stands for Kicks and Kids Like You. We talk about comics, that's what we do. So um, the K-Squad, we do uh, something every month that I don't, I don't see other groups doing. We do, well, how about this? I'll show you what I got, and then I'll tell you why we got, why I got it. How about that? Um, so this is gonna be my first time seeing this and yours as well. <laughs> this is dope. All right, so now that I've got it out of the package, look at this. So you guys may have seen in a previous video, we do what's called a fan art cover swap every month. So those of us who are artistically inclined or even not so much artistically inclined, we sign up. Um, and what you do is you draw on a sketch cover and it's kind of like secret Santa. You don't know who's going to draw on a cover for you. Um, the only thing you know is who you're going to send one to. Uh, so you send a cover out every month and you get a cover every month. Um, and this month, uh, jelly it, um, as she's affectionately known, sent me this. This is the Batman Who Laughs, number one, the sketch cover um, with this really cool blockhead Batman. I love this. This is dope. This is dope. It's like Bruce Tim meets Roblox 
Um, the fact that I even know what Roblox is is hilarious. But anyway, really cool. So if you want to get cool stuff like that in the mail, you got to join the K-Squad. The link's in the description. Uh, let's see. What I do with my box cutter? Oh, here it is. Just This is why I need to use Big Red at all times. All right, so this next one. Oh, this is from the homie Angel, who is also a member of the K-Squad. So this is a set of books that I actually bought. Uh, Angel sent me a message like, hey, I'm going to have these books for sale. Let me know if you want any of them. And I decided to oblige. Now, if only I could remember what it was that I ordered from him. Uh, let's see. This one was postmarked, okay, only a month ago, June 24th. All right. Gemini Mailer, the gold standard when it comes to comic book packaging. So I did get some feedback like that said that you guys would like me to just open the boxes before I turn the camera on and just show you what I got. And normally I take that sort of feedback into consideration and just, you know, tailor the content. I want to do what you guys like, not, you know, bore you. But because all these books are coming from Facebook, I think it's important to show off the packaging so that you guys can see that, you know, some of these people are really trustworthy. Um, hopefully all of them are. But anyway. Like I said, these came from the homie Angel. He sent them in a Gemini mailer. There's some masking tape here. And all right, had to cut out some uh, some slicing, but here's what I got. First off, I love this. This is Batman issue number 700. Uh, Batman 700, this is from Grant Morrison's run. This would have been issue number five in the Grant Morrison run. I just love this cover. If I'm not mistaken, this issue, was this issue called Time and the Batman? And it was just like Batman in a bunch of random eras? Maybe I'm tripping, maybe I'm lying. I might be lying, but anyway, I love this cover. I really want, there's a, I want, there's a poster of Batman in this pose. I saw it at my LCS once, I didn't buy it, and then I came back and it was gone. Um, but I would love this as a poster. But Having the single issue is probably the next best thing. This is a cover by David Finch. It's not a key issue. It's just a classic cover. I love this cover. Um, so I got that. And then speaking of classic covers, this is Batman issue 615. And this is signed by Jim Lee. Uh, so this is part of the epic Hush storyline. I love this one with Batman and Nightwing running beside each other evocative of the intro opening from the animated series or the it was a regular series but the animated opening for it from 1966 i love batman but you guys knew that and jim lee is my favorite artist and now i have a book signed by jim lee um and the fact that it's a batman book just makes it even better love that and rounding out the trifecta um this is one of the batman stories that is like super critically acclaimed all the fans love it and i've never read it this is Batman the Black Mirror. Um, it's by Scott Snyder. This is Scott Snyder's first work on Batman, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, he did Gates of Gotham. So which one came first? Was it Gates of Gotham or this? Uh, but it's Scott Snyder and Jock. Um, and it's a story that I believe took place in Detective Comics. Yeah, Detective Comics, like 871 to 880. I was looking for the cover to issue 880 because that is such an iconic cover. But honestly, Jock has quite a few iconic covers in this series. Um, but anyway, yeah, this was Detective Comics 871 to 881. Look at me. I'm looking for the cover. I mean, this is basically it. Like, you recognize this issue. It came, comes from this book. Uh, but this is Dick Grayson apparently taking a turn as Batman. So... That's exciting. That's exciting. Uh, but anyway, I don't have time to sit and admire things. I got more boxes to open. We got, we only got two more. But yeah, Batman the Black Mirror. Shout out to you, Angel. Um, great job packing these. Like that packaging was bulletproof. I had to like take time to open it. Uh, so another book added to the stack. And next up are two Omnibus that I ordered uh, from members of the Facebook community. So this one comes from the homie Nick. Nick was in the Omnibus Collectors group. Um, and he sold this book at a steal of a price. He did say, hey, there's some slight damage on it. 
but I'm like, it was nothing that was going to prevent me from reading the story. I needed this book in my collection. If you saw my last haul, you might know what it is. Um, boom. So cut into this. We got packing peanuts. Whoops. So we got packing peanuts. Inside those packing peanuts, we got bubble wrap. Inside that bubble wrap, we got more bubble wrap. This is like a mountain of bubble wrap. Look how thick. Look at all this bubble wrap. It never fails. I always clean my office and then I shoot a video that requires me to open a bunch of stuff and there's just packing materials everywhere. All right, after three layers of bubble wrap, let's see if this is gonna be easy. Whoops, no, that's not the best way to do that. And boom, this is the X-Men. Age of Apocalypse Omnibus. This is the standard cover by Philip Tan. This is the cover that I wanted. The only problem with this Omnibus is some slight wrinkling on the dust jacket. Yeah, you can see it there. I mean, worst case scenario, I could probably sit something on top of it and kind of press it out. Uh, maybe even iron it if I felt so inclined. But I got this book for like half of cover price. Cover price on this is $125. I paid less than half. Of cover price for it um, and at that price I couldn't give it up the best price I was finding online for this book was about $90 it was sold out everywhere so I figured hey I might as well just go ahead and grab it since I especially since I have the companion to go alongside it so came in the clutch love this and shout out to you Nick P um, for the excellent shipping job it was abundantly clear that whatever damage was on the book was already there because of just how well you pack things. So, and rounding out the purchase purchases, this is from the homie Owen, who I believe was also, now he was in the Gem Mint Facebook group, the Geminites Facebook group. Um, but he had been getting rid of a lot of things, but there was one thing in particular that I saw that I was like, man, I need that. Uh, let's see, this was postmarked June 28th, so it's been about a month. But yeah, when I saw what he was selling, I was like, I've been in the market for one of these. Let me go ahead and pull the trigger. And of course, in true Marvel fashion, they announce a reprint literally two days later. But anyway, all right, so looking at the packaging, this one's got a lot of bubble wrap, but I feel like the book isn't super secure in it. So Pro tip, I mean, if you're gonna use bubble wrap, like you probably should like tape it at least. Um, but hopefully this book isn't damaged at all. I don't think it will be. Um, and let's see. Great, it is not, it's not damaged. It's a great condition. Well, let's see. Yeah, great condition. This is Star Wars, the Star Wars Omnibus by Jason Aaron. Um, if you guys saw my collection tour video from back in January, then you know that I was trying to upgrade my hardcovers to the Omnibus. And then I did a video later on like, hey, I finally sold my hardcovers, but then the Omnibus went out of print. And I thought it was gonna be forever before that book actually got uh, re-solicited because it literally just went out of print. Like it just became unavailable at the major retailers, maybe, maybe four months ago. Um, but they re they announced a reprint and this is, you know, now no longer a whale. But I was really excited. I got this for like $75 when it was going for almost 200 on a lot of websites, especially eBay. So super dope. I don't feel dip or, or duped. You know, I, I feel good about the purchase because I still got a great price on it. And when that reprint comes, am I going to get the reprint? Absolutely, because the Mark Brooks direct market variant is just amazing. But anyway, 
Star Wars by Jason Aaron. I'm super excited to get this. Once I got like the Dr. Aphra and the uh, some of the other Star Wars omnibus, I was like, all right, I got to get the Jason Aaron. And now I can start my Star Wars read through. So, ah, man, that's a haul if I've ever seen a haul. So we got like a million single issues and three omnis. So just to recap, we got the Batman Hush signed by Jim Lee. Batman 700, uh, not signed by anyone, but I love that cover. I uh, got just some good reading material with the Black Mirror trade. Uh, this super awesome fan art by Jelliot uh, from the K-Squad Facebook group on the Batman Who Laughs. Um, this dud from Things From Another World. And then this super awesome piece by Ken Lashley uh, from the Ken Lashley Lead Killer Facebook group. And then we got uh, a few Omnis, Super Sons, The Age of Apocalypse, and Star Wars. Um, gotta love that. I paid less than cover price for every single thing here, and that's awesome. So, I hope you saw something you liked in this video. It's been a very long mail call, but it was worth it, right? Uh, I hope you saw something you liked, and if not, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy, and uh, be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.